Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Peace on earth and love and light to you. I am Gabrielle Ether. Welcome to my channel. So this is, it's like six o'clock, seven or something in the morning right now. But I was just looking at some of my messages, um, checking my comments and my videos. Like I, like I always do, and when it comes to whenever I have to do like a celebrity reading or like Illuminati reading, um, I do notice a lot of the positive comments, but you know, um, they start to become way too many for me because it's not really what I'm used to on my channel, so um, I can't check all of them. This is one of the main reasons why I'm making this video though. And forgive the way I sound, like I said, it's really early in the morning, so. Um, because I want to tell you guys thank you. And I also want to kind of um, talk about um, when I do make videos like that and that type of comments I get. Y'all, I said a long time ago, I was going to make a video called Responding to the Negative Comments on My Illuminati Videos. I don't know if y'all are aware of some of the <laughs> comments I get. I guess unless you just go down and read them or whatever. But, um, so y'all let me know if you want to see that video. Because I think the comments are hilarious. Okay. And, um, uh, also, what was I about to say? But yeah, y'all let me know if you want me to make a video like that. I think I'm going to do it anyways. I saw, like, I, I would have never thought I would have made one of those videos. Like, people put up videos, like, responding to negative comments on my videos. And um, I have watched some of them. Um, I like to see, I do like to see how people, like, respond or how they think about negative comments. Because uh, I actually told a friend, like, um, like, that they needed to get a YouTube channel because you um uh, because they they wanted to work on their confidence in certain areas and I was like well you need a YouTube channel because uh one thing YouTube does is uh you ha you really have to be confident in yourself and you have to know who you are in order not to let you know a lot of things affect you and I recently saw a video um on someone's channel. And she said, someone wrote to her and said, how are you able to deal with, like, a lot of the negative comments? Because she was like, I'm going to quit. She wasn't talking to me. She, this was a video I watched. She was, um, she wrote into this lady's channel and she said, because I'm about to quit. And I did respond to the video and I was like, oh yeah, you know, the little, I can just imagine the type of comments that lady gets. Gosh, she has a much bigger channel to mine and um but the type of readings I put out are really talking about evil a lot of evil stuff and a lot of things that are just done just evil and being malicious so therefore I, I mean I really get those same type of comments like really evil comments <laughs> it is just funny the people that call you evil the way they usually respond to you is in an evil manner. So, yeah, they're usually the pot calling the kettle black. That's another reason why I don't care. But um, I'm making this video because I just kind of want to tell you guys about that part of it. I don't want you guys to, for one, to thank you guys. And I'm going to come to that. I really want to thank you guys. And, um... It's very, it's very important to me that I say that because I don't think I've said that before. Have a video um like this where I'm thanking you guys um for being a part of the channel. But let me talk about this negative part right quick. I don't want you all to um uh, get upset with these people because I want you guys to understand one thing. Um, what they do is um. A lot of them are not even human. They're not even real humans. They're like spirits, you know, within themselves. Um, some of them are agents who work for the Illuminati also. This is something that has been revealed to me many a times. Uh, when I'm just at home, uh, there are things like that that I, I battle, you know. 
um, you not only just put out the Illuminati videos for knowledge for people to see, but then you also have to be aware that when you're at home by yourself, you have to battle that stuff also, you know, um, but the reason I don't care about that, because my ancestors, you know, my spiritual team is so much more powerful, so yeah, I don't care about that. But I want people to know when you understand the intentions of those people, it becomes less and less effective, you know. But a lot of times you can call them out and they won't say some people will argue back and back, you know, back and forth with you. And I try not to do that because like uh I have a habit of doing that because it's how I grew up. So I try not to argue with people. Um, it makes no sense just to try to prove you're right. Um, I really had a hard time not arguing with people for the sole purpose of, well, this is my thing. I hate for people to be misled on my channel. So that's why I come to the defense because I'm not defending myself, but I always look, look at it like I'm defending you all. So that's one reason why I will go back and forth. But sometimes you can call them out um, if you want. Uh, sometimes I do because I just don't believe people just for going to come and just say anything, you know, to me. So um, I do sometimes. And also, I just want you guys to know, like, um, look at the manner in which they, you know, respond to you. Um, because for one... I, I don't get mad at some people because I understand they're just expressing how they feel. You know, like when I did the one on Vanessa Bryant, the latest one I did, you have to tell people, this is just a bad person. She didn't love her daughter and she was willing to sacrifice her daughter. You tell people that for some reason, there are people out there who do not experience negative people. They don't know that a mother uh, can be heartless. They can. They just don't know that there are negative people in this world. They don't understand that. They don't understand. Like, why would a mother sacrifice her daughter? Like, people just don't understand um, what a lunatic is. Um, people don't understand what a psycho is. People just don't understand bad things for some reason. That's why I'm doing my evil series. You know, check those out when they come. Um, yeah, so people just don't understand how, how people can do bad. I don't I don't know why. I guess they just never experienced bad stuff in their life. Maybe they just came up um with a silver spoon in their mouths. Maybe they just um been living in a world with the rainbows and um <laughs> and hearts and stars <laughs> forever. I don't know why y'all, y'all, I don't know why people can't comprehend evil or they can't comprehend bad, you know. I heard one person say one time, I don't really experience, she said, I don't experience negativity because I keep a lot of posit positivity around me. And hey, that's all well and good. But when you are a threat to evil things, evil is going to find you no matter what because they're not threatened about uh, by your love and light. They don't care nothing about as much as love and light and positivity you have around you. Like, evil, evil don't care about that. You're going to still be threatening now your ancestors. You know, different things you can do to protect yourself will stop them. Because certain things just stop evil, you know. And they're not going to want to come in your path. But then that's not going to stop them from trying, okay? So, yeah, um... Then, you know, you have the people who get really mad, you know, um, so those people, I don't get mad at them. I understand that, I understand that they might only go so far, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I understand that if you don't know that bad exists, then that will be horrible for your mind to comprehend, you know? I know that it would be horrible for you to think that a mother can sacrifice her child. Because I think somebody said on the video, she said something like, if something happened to your child, does that give us the right to talk about you? I mean, of course, like, duh. <laughs> People <laughs> can do what they want to, you know? So, um, and I know, I understand, I've told y'all this before. 
those who've been following me for the longest, I mean, like, if something ever happens to me and I get a little bit of fame or whatever, yeah, of course, it's going to be so many Illuminati videos, people saying, yeah, she was already evil, you know, she talked about the Illuminati, Illuminati killed her, and, you know, mess like that, I don't care. Because I know there, that there will still be those who knew the truth, you know. I, I can't get out of that, you know. There will always be people who, I mean, even before I started this business, you know, this YouTube stuff, you know, I, I was already going through this stuff. People people have been calling me demons, you know, and witches forever. So, you know, I got over that. But I really want y'all to know what you are dealing with. Most of the time, you're just dealing with it. You know, really ignorant people, people who don't understand that bad exists, you know. Um, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, when you watch movies, um, even when you hear the news that that a mother, um, that daycare workers um, uh, bite children and slap children, when you see that stuff on the news, um, when you see on the news that a mother takes her child and shakes her to death um when you see on the news that a mother will take her child and throw her um when you see on the news that um, i'm talking about facts y'all when you see on the news that a mother will suffocate suffocate you know her newborn baby um when you see stuff like that on the news uh yeah stuff that stuff happens guys so i don't know why people think celebrities are different when you know like even though everything on the news is not right but these are documented facts the mothers are crazy certain mothers oh my gosh y'all know what i'm saying <laughs> i didn't mean like that certain mothers are just lunatics certain fathers are lunatics certain people are lunatics even though this stuff is documented that people actually abuse their children all around the world for some reason i think people think celebrities are different so with that being said y'all you just have those ignorant people who just don't know any better um so i don't fault them because true enough like if i see someone just spreading hate then, um, but that's not what I'm doing because I expose evil. So, I mean, but some people, that's another thing too, y'all. That's another thing. People don't know the difference between exposing evil and putting hate out there. And, hey, I don't even know how to say that any easier. I mean, it's like self-explanatory to me. So, uh, but I really, really care about the people who defend me. So it's the main reason why I'm making this video. I don't I want you guys to know what you're dealing with. And then another thing you're dealing with, like I said, agents. Uh and then you just have the narcissist. What I tell y'all all the time, I always tell y'all, YouTube come in six and it's like it's like a dinner plate for the narcissist. It's like perfect for them. So that's what they do. But um I really feel like majority of them are not even real. They're like agents, you know. Um, some of them are just like um, demonic spirits that really just come on my channel. And um, some of them are, like I said, some of them are just agents. You know, they work for the Illuminati. They don't want the truth out there. So when you know who you're, who you're dealing with, does it become, you know, um, it starts to become less serious to respond to them you start to feel like why am i responding to a narcissist um why am i responding to uh, a demon straight up you know low vibrational entity why am i responding to an agent you know why am i responding to ignorant people um then you start to become less and less more impacted you know so i want to know to tell you guys like the i wanted to really um, let you guys know the type of people you're dealing with when it comes to those videos and I don't want you guys to get upset now um but like I said respond if you want to because some people are just ignorant you know and they need some people need to know and people don't have the right to talk to you in any kind of way so oh I liked when I looked down 1444 <laughs> that is the number for um 
for us. It's, it's, it's always saying when something is divinely guided and divinely set and put in place. So if you guys are seeing that, then, well, then you know that you are being divinely guided, okay? It's not just a, a, a hunch or anything else. It's actually your spiritual team has, you know, strategic, strategically placed you there, okay? So that's that. And also... I want to tell you guys, thank you when you subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, for one, my videos are not going to get put out there anyways because the type of things that I talk about. So I love when those, when you guys subscribe to my channel and you just want to know more, um, from anything that I have to say, I want to thank you guys for that. And then, um, my biggest thank you is in life I went through something where uh I started to see I didn't have that many people taking up for me um I'm still to this day heavily impacted by that to this day so when I see people come to my defense I just think it's the best thing in the world and I love it um I got to a point before I started the YouTube video videos, I did not think, before I started the Illuminati videos, I immediately felt like that I was going to be talking about things and not a lot of people was going to agree with me. And then I see, you know, this whole tribe, you know, your vibe attraction tribe who knows, who thinks, is that who people come in the comments and they just say the exact thing that I've already said because spirit has been telling them the same thing, you know? And so... I just, I love that, and it really helps me out, too, when I see that, when I, even on any of my other videos, when anyone just responds and they agree with what I'm saying, it helps me out, it helps my self-esteem out, because the truth be told, if no one commented in my defense, if no one, um, if, if, if I had to, if it was just me against thousands of people, I will still stand. I don't have to have people uh, because that's what I went through. I went through things in life so I can stand by myself. And I'm used to that. I'm used to standing by myself. I'm used to having people who will say that they are my friend. But when, um, when things get heated up, they will fall back real quick, you know. I'm used to taking up for other people when their back is back back is against the wall, but when my back is against the wall, it's a different story. But I'm used to that, you know. So with that being said, I can do it. I can handle it. I'm well equipped to stand against to stand up for myself, and I'm like, I'm always prepared for that, you know. I'm always prepared for that video that I make that everyone is going to disagree with in my head. <laughs> I'm always prepared for that, and I will stand up for what I believe in, you know, but um, since that day has not came yet, and if it comes, then it comes, because I, like I said, it's it's like, uh, it's, I'm just always prepared for that in my head, but um, with all that being said, when people do come to my defense, I just want to tell you guys how much I appreciate it and that's the main reason why I wanted to make this video and that is all y'all <laughs> I want to add my whispering to where you guys can't hear because it's so early here but I had to make this video and tell you guys that I appreciate you so much and I really don't want you guys to get upset I wanted you guys to know what you were dealing with too when it comes to videos like that that's all y'all continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye.